Giants alums today, and what a reception it was. George Robert Newhart, better known as Bob, class of 47. He was welcomed like the A-list star he is, even though the students are too young to remember his number one comedy albums and only know his TV sitcoms because of Nick at Night and TV Land. Before Newhart's special afternoon at the school, I had a chance to walk around the near west side St. Ignatius campus, and then we sat down for a chat with one of TV's most beloved characters. He wasn't the best student at St. Ignatius. What, what kind of student were you? What kind of grades did you get? Uh, I heard uh, I was a B student, but I think uh, I think they bounced it up a couple of <laughs> they gave you a break? It's <laughs> like Moody's, I, Moody's wouldn't have agreed with a Moody. <laughs> and even though he liked to see performers who came to town, school often got in the way. Uh, did you go downtown in Chicago? Did you see shows? Were you a big fan of any yeah, comedians? As a kid, I used to uh, get out of here at 3 or 3.30, depending on whether I had jug or not. And, uh, and, uh, whether you had what? Jug. Did they still have jug? Yeah. Jug, if, if you hadn't. If you've done something wrong, you had to go to jug after school. We three, call it detention. Detention, yeah. yeah. And you had to learn a poem um, by heart. And, of course, with my stammer, uh, it was almost 4.30 before I got back and I, <laughs> I'd go to the Chicago Theater, and I'd see bands. I'd see, I saw Danny Cager, I saw Martin Lewis. I loved live performances. Bob did graduate, of course, and today he was the honored guest of his alma mater, meeting with dignitaries, smiling, handshakes all around, a plaque in his honor, and the school stage is named after him. Has this school changed much? Oh, well, incredibly, yeah, incredibly. Yeah, they just told me it was, when I was here, it was two, two acres, two and a half acres, and now it's 20 acres. Uh, and the neighborhood is incredible. I mean, it's much nicer than when, when I was here. I promise me one thing. Don't, don't look behind you, okay? <laughs> Thirteen years after graduation, Bob Newhart was a national star. He cut a comedy album that went to the top of the charts. Hello. Then he found even more fame with classic Hello. TV sitcom. Well, then the group applauded for about four and a half minutes. <laughs> How about the comedies that are on these days? But well, I have a funny thing. Um... If it's a laugh track, I, I, I turn it off. I just don't. It, mm -hmm. it, it's, to me, it's jarring to the ear. We always did our shows in front of a live audience, as did Lucy, as did Mary Tyler Moore, as did the Honeymooners. And, and it's just traditional to do it in front of a live audience. And you kind of live or die with, with what you got, which gave, gave the show a, you know, and energized the show. Bob Newhart Day in Chicago. His father went to St. Ignatius. A more unassuming, normal guy you will never meet. And uh, Bob is 82 now, 50 years in show business, and he will be doing a stand-up routine at the Chicago Theater tomorrow night. They're celebrating their 90th anniversary. Still one or two tickets may be available for that show tomorrow night. They're basically sold out. You know, he went on to Loyola, and he got his B.A. in business management. He was a funny accountant before getting into show business and selling all those uh, comedy albums in the 60s, millions and millions of them. And there's a great story about... Uh, Bob being pulled aside by one of the producers of his sitcom and they told him Bob the shows are running a little long if you could just cut down on your stammer a little bit maybe that would help our timing and Bob said no way that stammer got me a house in Beverly Hills still ahead here cell phone video of Muammar Gaddafi